I'm Jenny from Cascade Park, and we're missing you at the branches. Today for Build It, we're going to be talking about building airplanes. Have you ever wondered how an airplane flies? Air travels simultaneously over the top and the bottom of a wing, but it goes slightly faster over the top, which creates the lift and causes the airplane to fly. Today we're going to be looking at how to fold different airplanes and seeing which way they fly the fastest. To do this at home, you can get any kind of paper. So you'll see that this is lined paper. This one is a coupon flyer from a newspaper. This one I even tried with an envelope. And I've tried them in different sizes. So I've got a little mini airplane. We're gonna start with a single piece of paper and we're going to fold it together. You can fold yours any way that you want or try different styles at home. But I'm just gonna do a simple style right now. Fold the paper in half. So when you have your paper folded in half, you can fold the corners in. You fold the corners in. Then I fold again to the middle. And I kind of create a little thing like this. And I turn it upside down. Fold a little bit in on the wings. And then when I bend it together, it kind of creates a skinny aerodynamic airplane. And aerodynamics is how well the plane travels through the air without drag. So the wider an airplane is, it has a little bit more drag because the air will hit it in different places. And the skinnier an airplane is, it's more aerodynamic. So you can test out different widths from maybe say an airplane that's a little bit wider to an airplane that's a little bit skinnier. So when you're at home and you've had your airplanes, you can throw them and measure the distance or you can maybe race two planes against each other. Okay, so this was the first one I did. I made it out of an envelope. You'll see that my wings are a bit uneven. Watch how far this one doesn't go. La, la, la. <laughs> it just went backwards. So when I tried it again, I decided to use a bigger piece of paper and I used this coupon flyer from the newspaper. This one goes a little bit further. Now, one of the options that I did that worked even better was this airplane. It has a little bit of a blunter nose at the front and the wings turn up. This one went the furthest. If you're looking for more information on airplanes, you can find it on our website at www.fbrl.org. Find the database Britannica Library for Children and look up airplanes. It's a great database because it has levels of reading so that children of all ages can enjoy it on their reading level. It will also read the articles out loud and can be translated into a different language. So have fun learning about airplanes. It has pictures, images, videos, and more. We hope to see you soon in the library. Please make sure you send us pictures of your airplanes. Tag us on Instagram or Facebook if you made a really cool airplane. See you soon. Bye.